Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Nourish with Emily Live. I'm coming at you live this Thursday morning inside the Nourish with Emily Facebook group. If you're watching this video through our email list and you're not part of our Facebook group, go ahead and check out Nourish with Emily inside of Facebook and be sure to join this group. I want to know, are you watching this live? Are you watching this on the replay? Today we're talking all about why protein is so important in perimenopause and menopause and how to hit your goals without making it a whole nother thing that you got to think about every single day. So let us know if you're watching this live or replay. What have you got in your cup right now? I've got my coffee here. After we're done, I'm going to make breakfast before a 9.30 client call. Uh, then I'm going to go to the gym. I've got a meeting with a colleague at 1. I've got three more calls later on. I'm working on this month's masterclass all about menopause and weight loss and navigating menopause to help sure, make sure that you are the healthiest yet. Because a lot of changes come with menopause. The change in our hormone levels do put us at risk for things like osteoporosis, for heart disease. We're going to navigate what you need in your diet, in your nutrition to be able to come out of that period of life and be postmenopause and feel really great and still feel like yourself. So let us know down below what's in your cup today. Are you watching this live or replay? Let's dive into why protein is so important. So I gave you a little bit of a teaser there. With menopause, our estrogen levels start to go down and they really decrease. Our bodies aren't making as much of them anymore. With that, our whole system is really reliant on that estrogen for a lot of the cueing for our other hormones too. For some reason, as we go through menopause and that estrogen level decreases, we are more at risk to become insulin resistant. So this is something that I was recently reading through a research article. I can share that research article with you too if you are interested about how through menopause, we start to gain that belly fat area. We start to gain weight. We start to feel a little bit more sluggish because of that insulin resistance that can occur and occurs for many women as we're going through menopause, where that's where we get that like, oh my gosh, I've gained this 10 pounds. What the heck is going on? Maybe you've noticed as you've been going through perimenopause or menopause that you've been diagnosed with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. It all comes back to that insulin resistance. So we're going to talk about that a lot inside of the masterclass, but what is insulin resistance? Your body's making insulin, but your cells just aren't receptive to it. So your body has to keep making more and more insulin. And with that higher level of insulin, we're more at risk for fat storage, which then is going to cause that weight gain for us. So your body has to work so much harder. If we're having a lot of carbohydrates and we're not getting enough protein in, or we're not pairing proteins with the right food, it's very, very hard for us to have balanced blood sugar levels, which means we need more insulin again. And if we're insulin resistant, it's just this vicious cycle for us. So if we are able to pair carbohydrates and protein together, and we are by no means on a low carb diet, you're not eating 10% of your overall intake from carbs. Carbs are still a good, true part of your intake. And we'll talk about that number that we might be looking for when we have the masterclass in a couple weeks. But when we have that protein, it slows down carbohydrate digestion. Blood sugar levels go from maybe it would hit 150 if you just had a handful of cereal with nothing with it, to maybe it's peaking at 120. So with that lower peak, with more of that rolling hill, our body needs less insulin. So if our cells aren't already super receptive to the insulin to begin with, having something that has protein is going to lower that blood sugar level, lessen that spike and drop, which means we need less insulin throughout the day. <clears throat> so if we can pair carbohydrates with protein sources, we are lessening that insulin resistance. You're also going to feel fuller for longer. Nothing magically happens to our metabolism where it just goes into the tank. Um, you're also able to maintain muscle mass, which is also very, very important when you are going through menopause because that's your metabolism. Muscle is more metabolically active than fat is. If we can maintain and build muscle mass, do strength training, weight bearing exercise, we're going to keep our bones strong. We're going to keep our muscles strong. You're going to feel so much better and be able to navigate this estrogen losing period where you feel really good too. So protein is needed, helping with reducing that insulin resistance, helping you to feel your best overall and kind of helping with keeping those blood sugar levels stable, which can help with reducing all these other disease risks that we can get as we go through menopause. We're going to dive into this in a full hour training on August 27th inside of this month's masterclass, Thriving Through Menopause. We're going to talk about navigating weight loss through menopause, what nutrients you need, if there's any supplements that you need during menopause. We're going to be talking about it. That way you can help cover your bases because this is not something that's kind of talked about. You know, all of a sudden you go to the OBGYN one year and they're like, oh, I think you're going through menopause. And you're like, is that why I feel so crappy? Is that why I have no energy? Is that why I don't feel like myself anymore? We're going to talk all about it, navigating all of those areas, helping you feel most confident in your skin and in your food choices to be able to lose weight. We're working with clients right now who are 
in menopause and also postmenopausal where they're losing weight and still eating their favorite foods. They're eating more than 1200 calories a day. They're eating more than 1500 calories a day. They're exercising and they feel great and they've been able to overcome that hormonal change. We have a client who's almost a hundred pounds down postmenopause. That's amazing. You might feel like you just can't lose the weight with menopause and postmenopause. We're going to be talking about it and that special tactics that we're using inside of this masterclass. So I'll drop the link to join the masterclass down in the comments below. It is $50 to join the class. If you only want the class, you will get the replay of the class. So if you can't make it live on August 27th, don't worry about it. You'll get the replay. You can go back and watch it later at any time. Or if you like to save money and you want more of the resources, more of the support through the Nourish and Emily community, join the Nourish membership. It's only $29 a month. You get that $50 masterclass included along with our client group chat. You get food tracking in there. If you've ever felt like, okay, I need to track my food to be successful, we have that inside of our app and our eyes are on it. We are there to look through and say, okay, like, what are we having? What's the balance here? Are you missing something? This is a great meal. You're getting our feedback on a lot of those meals as well. Along with our recipes, our resources, our guides, our entire video training library for longer trainings than this that you might not have access to right now unless you're a part of the Nourish membership. So if you're interested in joining the Nourish membership, I will also drop that link down in the comments below. Remember, it's $29 a month, no minimum commitment. You can cancel it at any time. Uh, we'd love to have you be a part of it and you get that masterclass for this month absolutely free. If you have any questions on this, please send me a message. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday so far and we will see you very soon.